Hi, this is uh, Trevor Matthews from ghd-repair.co.uk. Wanted to cover a couple of things uh, for members of the public who are thinking of sending their GHD Max or their GHD Gold hair straighteners uh, to somebody to be repaired. And we're going to cover a couple of things and a couple of problems that have recently started to arise as uh, other GHD repairers jump on the bandwagon trying to repair uh, this uh, model. Well, I say this model, one's wide, one's normal. The internals and the elements are exactly the same. The only difference is the wide have the wider plates. Same size element, just wider plates. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, for the differences, so I'm going to move this one out of the way. Now, I've been repairing these for, well it's over two years now, and uh, we have come across numerous problems with these, all repairable fortunately. Um, one of the main issues we've come across uh, is cracking of the non-switch side element or the thermal fuse failing on this side <coughs> excuse me we have over many months uh, identified some components on the circuit board that need to be changed to combat this problem uh, we have uh, had uh, a number of expert engineers looking at the issue and uh, between us we have devised a modification to the circuit board that eliminates the problem. That modification is applied to every one of these that we get into the workshop, whether it's just for a damaged mains cable or a more uh, complex fault, the modification is applied to every pair. Uh, and only us and the uh, our colleague Kev who we work very closely with uh, are the only two companies uh, doing this modification. Uh, we have seen multiple times where other engineers who uh, do the normal GHDs have attempted to repair these and they've come across the uh, failed thermal fuse. They have swapped that out for a non uh, a fuse that isn't acceptable, not the genuine one that's fitted and then they have plugged them in and instantly cracked the element. Uh, we see this uh, all the time, uh, they give up and uh, eventually these irons work their way through to uh, us and uh, we modify the board, change the faulty components, set the temperatures correctly and uh, we're good to go again. Uh, so as I say PCB requires modification on every single one of these. Um, if you don't have the PCB modification done, you've probably got a 30-40% chance of the irons failing at some point due to this uh, known uh, problem. Um, the boards and the elements look like this. Now, Past repairers of GHDs will be familiar with the four wires, two to the thermal fuse and the element, and two to the thermistor. However, the gold, gold and max all use the same boards. These two inner wires are not going to a thermistor. It is an entirely different device, um, similar the result to the circuit board uh, yeah, as it's m m monitoring the a temperature uh, but it is not a thermistor and that means that uh, when you change the element and again we're seeing this now with uh, companies that don't know what they're doing with this uh, particular model they are just changing the element uh, from uh, third parties uh, non-genuine elements and uh, because they don't understand what this component is and what exactly what it does they are just refitting the replacement element and sending them back to the customers like that uh, what they don't then realize is that the uh, elements with the uh, two wires in the middle they have to be matched to the circuit board now that's done in the factory uh, originally uh, because each one of these elements varies slightly 
and we are seeing uh, irons come in with temperatures that they're operating at are up to, and I've seen frequently, 215 degrees uh, centigrade. These operate at 185 degrees centigrade. So unless you know what you're doing, uh, do not just sling in a third party element because you will very likely find the temperature is far too high and potentially are too low. The chances of getting an element that is just the correct value is, is not very high. Um, now we have used genuine elements, I've got a whole a uh, whole load of them and uh, we have a number of choices. We can uh, swap a couple of elements until we find one of the correct value. Obviously we know the value of the first one and then check the readings, the temperature readings. If it's too high, too low, we will then pick a second element to get it just right. Um, we have also noticed failure of the microprocessor this little postage stamp size chip there and we have specialist equipment to remove and replace that. Now the only way we can replace that is if we then have the correct firmware to upload to it. Uh, now Kev has spent a number of months writing new firmware uh, for these two models so we are now able to replace uh, any microprocessor that fails or we can then reprogram it with our own code set the temperatures correctly and uh, we are good to go uh, nobody else can do that there's no other company in the UK that has firmware for this uh, model because uh, it's ours we've written it and it will not be released uh, to anyone again this is the thinner standard width plates, it's exactly the same issues, PCB modification required and uh, <clears throat> if the elements need changing you need to know how to either adjust the element temperature, have the correct element value in the first place or uh, like we're doing now we can just reprogram the chip and the temperature is set automatically for us. Uh, so just if you're a customer thinking of having these repaired, just think carefully about who you're using. Uh, this last month or two, every GHD repairer seems to have jumped on this bandwagon thinking that these are a simple uh, model to repair. Uh, they are definitely not. And uh, if you don't do it right, you are gonna have uh, repeat failures. The circuit board must be modified and uh, whatever else is required needs to be changed correctly and uh, as I say we are now seeing complete bodges uh, done of these they are custom people are fitting uh, the wrong type of thermal fuse and uh, they are fitting pattern part elements which uh, are not likely to give you the correct temperature and uh, I do not want to see anyone getting badly burnt uh, because they fitted an element uh, and then they haven't bothered checking the temperature. Okay, uh, These can get extremely hot in a fault condition or with the wrong elements. As I say, I have already seen 215 degrees on an alleged repair uh, on a number of uh, these irons. So uh, be warned. Um, send them in to us. It's a fixed fee, it's $39.99. The only time that does not apply is if you have broken one of the arms, but you'd be telling us about that up front, I'm sure. Uh, or if they are completely dead and we find that the, the little microprocessor is faulty. Uh, what we do now is we have these uh, replaced uh, reprogrammed and uh, available so if you we do get a dead one uh, we will charge you an additional 25 pounds it won't delay anything we will swap the complete board for you we will have the temperatures set correctly and it will go back like all of the other repairs the same day that they arrive um, and your board will at a later date when I have uh, got more time go on to our uh, re uh, rework station with the microscope 
and we will remove this chip we will fit another one and we will reprogram the chip and uh, that means that your board will not be scrapped, wasted, there is no waste other than the old chip and it will go back into my drawer of uh, boards ready to be used. Uh, so yeah that was it really, I, I, mean, I don't normally come online and sing our praises but we are the only company who can replace the chip and reprogram it and uh, to my knowledge we are the only company uh, along with Kev uh, who is uh, modifying the boards to be more reliable in the future and to stop this known issue of uh, non-switch side elements cracking uh, or the thermal fuse uh, failing um, so yeah there we go just wanted to put that out there to uh, everyone that might come across the uh, this video all right thanks for watching as always and uh, any questions just uh, contact me through our website or um, ask questions on youtube